makeup really started as a school project, but it really became so much more than that over time. We really were inspired by the idea of giving the youth in Oshawa a voice. My job as a project manager was to make sure everybody was organized and everything went on point. If somebody couldn't finish something or do something, it was really up to me and my partner to step up and make sure everything was okay. Uh, my job was the, as the coordinator with Rachel. So basically, uh, I found a lot of the time my job was mostly just to make sure everything got done, everything ran smoothly. So my name is Julie Simmons. I was in charge of the communications for the Speak Up project. Um, so that meant creating a design for Speak Up that could be used uh, for the website, for all social media pages, and for posters and print material as well. I also created submission forms and then I created different flyers for us to take to potential sponsors and to take to schools to give to the students. I created a promotional video that I put on YouTube that was posted sort of to promote the event and sort of as a way for students to share the event maybe on Facebook or other social media. Uh, my name is Colleen Rose. I'm in charge of publications. I created an online catalog using the program Flipsnet that I found on the internet. Uh, I'm Jamie. I was the logistics person for the Speak Up High School Art Show. So my job was basically to organize the, the course of events, the calendars. My name is Brooklyn Kreitz and I had the access and outreach uh, role. I emailed the schools to notify them about the opportunity for the students. And when I got minimal responses by emails, um, I decided to take it upon myself and go to the schools. I think I visited about seven schools. For the three schools in Oshawa that communicated with me, um, I was able to set up a date and time for us to do our presentation. Uh, I have to say, when we really started the project, I was actually quite excited about it, especially when we, we took the opportunity to go and visit the high schools and talk to people, which many of us did. Almost all of us took part in that in some way or another. And that, I found, was interacting with the students was probably the most, most fun part for me. That's the part I really enjoyed. Yeah, we went to about three different schools and uh, we had a really good reception. Like, some of the schools had uh, some people interested and then other schools had a lot of people interested. Well, thank you for coming to Eastdale. We appreciate this opportunity and I'm sure many of my projects are going to look at. There's a lot more behind the show than you would expect. Keeping track of finances, finding people to give awards. If people weren't quite knowing what to do, I just kind of like pushed them in the direction that I thought they should go. Hello, I'm James Plowman. Uh, my main job was to make sure that all the books were balanced, so to speak, to have a projected idea as to how much money we were going to be spending and to make sure that we stayed within those goals or better. Fundraising for this project was a completely new experience. I never had to do anything like that before. For finance was going with Rachel and trying to secure, for lack of a better word, business deals to help promote our show and to get more uh, resources from the local community. I was surprised by how the small businesses and the bigger businesses, like Subway for example, they were already on board so quickly. It was it was really nice to see them care about this project. Well, I'm Mike, and I was the curator for the Speak Up Youth Art Exhibition. Um, so my job was pretty much to create labels, um, create a didactic panel, um, basically type out the labels when students arrived on the drop-off date. I'm Lauren, I'm the other curator. As curator, part of our duties is um, like setting things up so it's presentable and viewable to other people. We had quite a lot of help because it's mainly like a team effort. As we thought we could just do like big, small, big, small on the pattern, but that's a bit jarring. But we learned to space it out better, considering what we had, like the size of what we had compared to the size of the room. It was slightly tricky, but it was a nice learning experience. 
In total, we had 30 students that submitted work. Um, those 30 students came from either Eastdale, Paul Dwyer, or R.S. McLaughlin. Given the space, I personally think the response from the school was perfect. Good. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. We had to take a really big gamble on how many schools to approach and like the amount of students we were sending out to because we had no idea whatsoever about how many students would submit artwork and so we had to kind of guess where to cut it off and like how many schools to go to and it ended up coming out really well. So the show was held in Gallery A which is the new gallery at uh, the Robert McLaughlin Gallery and we got to show the have the show hosted there and it's in the basement. And it was a really good chance to kind of use a new space and show everyone's work off. So during the reception, Colleen and I did a lot of uh, documenting. So we took a lot of, um, of videos and uh, photographs with the students that won the awards. Um, and that was really fun to be involved directly like that as well. My name is Christina Piccini, I'm from Aris McLaughlin, and I won the Speak Up Award. I wanted to submit a piece to Speak Up because I felt like everyone in my school is so afraid to express how they really feel, and I find it so easy to, so for me to convey to my viewers that it's easy to speak up for what you love and what you feel finds, what you find and makes you creative is truly heartwarming, and it's something I wish for them to also who I am, just someone who really likes being imaginative and creative, making something out of nothing. That's how I spoke up. The reason for the title Speak Up is because it was really important to give the students a voice. Um, I think for me personally, this became so much more than just another school assignment. It, it became something I really cared about. I'm so glad that so many of you have come tonight. It's amazing how many of you have shown your support for the young people in Oshawa, and it's really amazing. All we had to do was make a youth exhibit. That was our only stipulation. The theme of Speak Up was of our own creation. It was something that was really important to us, to give a voice to the youth in Oshawa, and to make them feel valued and important. Um, the experience of creating the show was a very honored experience. It is something I will remember for the rest of my life. All in all, I think this project went amazingly. We had an awesome team, and each person really stepped up their game and really pulled their weight. Communications overall was a pretty big job, but I really enjoyed it, and um, it was sort of it was really fun working in the group and I love the people that we worked with and I definitely had a lot of fun with this project. I just want to say thank you everyone seriously for entering this. We didn't know how successful it would be. We didn't know if we'd get too little artwork. We, we didn't know if anyone would show up. We didn't know. We were going in blind. And to have a huge turnout like this, a room full of people, it seriously means a great deal to us. Thank you.